President Yoram Museveni and his wife Janet Museveni have renewed their marriage vows, toasting to love and friendship. To, the, to, to, to love. and comradeship. The groom thanked God for the 40 years in marriage, saying this is a journey they started as two people, but they are now a family of 23. The couple renewed their commitment to love each other and ask for forgiveness where they have gone wrong. The memorable event took place at Insuere Church of Uganda in Churuhura district and was attended by close family members, religious leaders, ministers, members of parliament, business fraternity and well-wishers. The occasion was preceded by a baptism ceremony of their grandchildren who were also given traditional names. The president and bride commended the church for the reforms they continue to embrace and urged it to teach against killing each other. The couple later hosted their guests at a grand luncheon at the family home in Rajtura. The president held his wife, Janet M. Seveni, for being transparent and religious, saying she prays regularly and constantly. He thanked God for blessing them with children and grandchildren who have been raised by his wife to be responsible and disciplined. He told their guests that he was an absentee husband and father since he was involved in the liberation struggle. However, the little time I would, be, uh, I would be available, I would spend it with the children. My time with the children was not much in quantity, but quite high in quality. So the parents, you could uh, gain some little... He thanked advice. God for keeping his family. The president, who gave an in-depth background to the liberation struggle, revealed that he trained 28 fighters in Montez, Mozambique, but of those, only four were alive today, including generals Salim Saleh and Ivan Coretta, who also attended the ceremony. He said Obote and other young people squandered the chance to organize their country because they did not know God. That's how our leaders have wasted time. If you look at the leaders of independence, they were all young people. Do you know that Obote was 35 years old when he became prime minister? All young people. And the whole country was before them. This new country was before these young people. But they wasted their chance, those leaders. The First Lady, Mrs. Janet Museveni, thanked God for joining them and leading them through the 40 years of marriage. For it is the Lord who first found us for each other. And then he led us on these 40 years journey over the hills and down the valleys, by the streams of water, sometimes sometimes through the dry patches of our life's journey and he never abandoned us at any time. The couple's son, Brigadier Muhozi Kainer Gava, said that God gave his father courage to fight for Uganda and liberate it and patience to his mother during the difficult times. The Archbishop of Uganda, Stanley Intagali, congratulated the couple for sustaining their marriage, saying it is an excellent example to the rest of Ugandans, especially at this time when the institution of marriage is under satanic attack and increased divorce rates. This report was compiled by... He has chosen us to contribute to the guiding of this country Secondly, we have found the vows we made 40 years ago in our wedding day. We will continue to love, comfort, honor, and protect each other.
and forsaking all others, be faithful to each other as long as we both shall be. Amen. Can we clap our hands? Now we are going to hear the groom today uh, renewing his vows, uh, his excellency is renewing his vows to mama first and please after that uh, you will uh, please uh, clap a big clap. I, you will come to the ceremony, will commit my Janet as my wife, confidante, the mother of our children, and my chosen partner in this journey of life. I ask for your forgiveness where we may have had misunderstandings in the last 40 years together. <laughs> Today I renew my covenant with God and with you, and by God's grace I pledge to live, to live out the rest of my life with you in love, joy, peace, and faithfulness. Thank you. Thank you. Africans do not kiss in public. <laughs> wow. Now we are going to <laughs> now we are going to Mama, could you please uh, say those words while you're facing him? Uh, she's going to uh, say how about again while facing uh uh Muse and uh, uh, confirming those same vows. So please face her, face him and uh, tell him those words. I, Janet Museveni, recommit my heart and love to you, your ladies, as my husband, my friend, my confidant, the father of our children, the head of our home, and my chosen partner in this journey of life. I ask for your forgiveness where we may have had where we may we may have had some misunderstanding in the last forty years together. Today I renew my covenant with God and with you, and by God's grace I pledge to live out the rest of my life with you in love, in joy, in peace and in faithfulness. <laughs> the whole nation of Uganda and the world, Yoweri and Janet have renewed their marriage vows to each other. <laughs> Therefore, that which God has joined together, let no man, no group, nobody ever put aside. Now the success of your marriage results into many other blessings in your family. 
and everything else that you are doing now <coughs> that you have renewed your married covenant. Now that you have renewed your married covenant, and on that basis, commit yourself a place to God. I want to hear you recommit with your own words the fresh commitment to God of what you want to be doing. Lord, we dedicate and concentrate our future in your hands. We commit our lives together, our walk with you, our love and marriage, our relationships with our children, our grandchildren, and beyond. May your abundant blessings be upon us and our family. We especially desire that the purpose we have for our lives and the calling that you ordained for us to accomplish for this nation may be completed. Therefore, grant us abundant grace, guidance, provision, and success in all our endeavors. We pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we are going to pray a uh, concluding prayer to seal this renewed covenant. Uh, could you again hold your hands together as we talk about this covenant and we pray this prayer before the Lord. Now Lord, you have had your children here reconfirm their covenant with you. Please release a fresh anointing of your grace upon their marriage, upon their family, upon their leadership. May your covenant blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob through Christ be evident in their lives. We pray for a long life so that they can live to see the fulfillment of your, their, of your promises. Give them rest all around. Finally, we commit their spiritual, natural, and political legacy into your hands that you will raise up godly and faithful men and women to rise up and follow the trail that they have blessed, blessed for generations to come. We also pray, Lord, that this that they have done will be a sign to the rest of the nations that as Ugandans, we honor you. We honor your word, we honor your scriptures, and this being exemplified by the first family of Uganda, may this be an example to other marriages to other young, many young men and women who are not yet married, to desire this, to look at this and be so glorious that it will bring grace to this nation, that it will confirm our commitment to strengthen the families in Uganda. We pray, Lord our God, that this which they have done will continue to inspire many people, not only in Uganda, but outside Uganda. Being the first family, Lord, and the, oh, the fountain of honor, may this bring honor to the family. May it flow at the river through this country. As it comes out in the news, in the media, let it bring the joy and excitement of what marriage means to you. We thank you and we bless you for them. We thank you and bless you for their family. We thank you and bless you for their grandchildren and great-grandchildren and their posterity hereafter. May that blessing continue to flow in their family in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As they take their seats on standing, we are going to sing him.